there, today we'll be building the MMC60 round flexure switch. Let's get started! First, let's prepare the switch button. Using a flush cutter or craft knife, remove all support materials from the hole. Insert the hex bolt into the slot and make sure the holes are aligned as depicted. With the hex bolt, push the bolt through the thin layer of 3D printed material that's covering a hole at the base bottom. Make sure the hole is completely cleared of material. Take the T-nut, line the teeth up in the grooves on the base bottom and hold it in place. Insert the hex bolt all the way in from the outside. Make sure the teeth engage with the grooves. Using pliers, twist the hex bolt so the T-nut is all the way in and flush. This may take some strength and time. Remove the hex bolt with pliers and set it aside for later. The T-nut should remain in place. Let's prepare the switch jack assembly. Insert the micro switch into the 3D printed switch jack holder. Make sure the switch activator on the micro switch is in the center. Take the wooden dowel and insert it into the two holes all the way to keep it in place. Push it down on your workstation to get it flush or use a flush cutter to snip off excess material. Next, prepare two wires that are six centimeters long. Taking your wire cutter, locate the 22 gauge hole and strip off half a centimeter of plastic from both ends. Wiggle your cutter back and forth and the plastic should come off easily. Remove the plastic and repeat with the second wire. Next, remove the ring from the mono jack. Insert the mono jack into the 3D printed holder. Once it slides in place, twist the ring back and tighten it in place with your fingers or pliers. With the wire you just prepared, insert one end into the middle terminal on the mono jack and bend the wire ending so it stays in place. Insert the other side of the wire into the middle terminal on the micro switch and bend the wire ending. With the second wire, insert one end into the right terminal on the micro switch. Follow the 3D printed wire channel and insert the other end into the furthest terminal on the mono jack. Bend the wire ending. Add a bit of solder on your iron tip and solder all four connections. Next, insert the hex bolt through the 3D printed flexure and tighten it with the hex nut from the other side. Make sure you insert the bolt from the correct side. Before we assemble everything, check to see if the wires on the switch jack assembly doesn't cover the two screw holes. Insert the assembly into the base bottom by aligning it with the two screw posts and the mono jack hole on the side. Insert two screws in to keep it in place. Align the flexure assembly with the notch on the base bottom so it sits on top of the micro switch. Put the base top on top of the flexure with the side that has the screw countersink facing up. Fix it in place with three remaining screws. For the last step, twist the button cover until snug. Be careful not to over tighten. Congratulations, you've just assembled an MMC60 round flexure switch.